Israel was a child, I loved him. To make it uh, more personal, you could place Israel with your name. I'm Anthony. So when Anthony was a child, I loved him. When John was a child, I loved him. When Nana was a child, I loved him. You know, this is, or let me say, these are beautiful words of God. God saying he loved you. What is happening in here is that it means that the love for this child has changed. But if you listen carefully, it's not the love of God for this child, you, which has changed. It is the child's love for his father, God, that has changed. We are so much loved by God. Go to the holiest point in your life, if, if any, you know, and imagine how close you ever felt to God. That is the love he's talking about. Why you thought that God was my God. When Israel was a child, I loved him. For us to continue to enjoy this love of God, we have to remain being his children, being childlike. When we, have, we abandon ourselves to God, then indeed we shall be like children before him. Then this love of God become manifest in our lives. And then he ends by saying, for I am God not and not man. Thank God, God is God. Amen. Amen. And because if he were to be you, to be me, that man there, that man there, would have sacked me from his house for disobeying him. But he says, no, no, do that. I'd rather bring him back more. You see, human beings, the more you hurt somebody, the more the person will put, put you away or push you away. But here is God. The more you are hurting him, the more he's getting closer to you. Indeed, he's God and not man. In the gospel, we hear Jesus giving those phrases, I call it. He says, Accepte date. No, accepte gratis. Uh, date gratis. You receive without charge, without pay. Give without charge, without pay. You know, these four ways, accepte gratis, date gratis, they are still relevant in our lives today. That Whatever we have in this world, whatever we have become today, we are free. Nobody has ever written an application to God for something that he or she is having. We are free. So whenever we are using those gifts, let's have that in mind. Accept it gratis. That it gratis. When you give freely to God, He will continue to give you more. God bless us now in our ways. Amen.